In perfect competition, we take a look at the relationship between the industry and the firm. And the industry will set the firm's price and quantity of production. So I bring the price over from the industry to the firm. And with perfectly competitive firms, we have a perfectly elastic demand curve. We have an infinite number of substitutes. All of our products are identical. And our demand equals marginal revenue, meaning that the price that the industry sets for a good or service is what's going to be demanded by consumers, and that's going to be the revenue that's going to be brought into the firm. The firm will produce where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. We refer to this as the profit maximizing quantity. And all of our firms in perfect competition start off in long run equilibrium. And long run equilibrium is where our price is equal to our demand which equals marginal revenue, which equals marginal cost, which also equals minimum average total cost. All of our graphs are going to start and end in long run equilibrium. So point A for the industry in the firm represents the starting point, meaning long run equilibrium. And let's say that there is an increase in demand for this particular good or service. It's going to shift the industry's demand curve to the right, increasing price and quantity supplied. So we're moving from point A to point B. So the industry will pass this information along to the firm and this will inform the firm to increase their price and increase their quantity supplied of production. So we find marginal revenue which equals marginal cost so this intersection will represent our new quantity of production and since we are above average total costs we're showing that the firm is also going to be making some profits So we started off at point A, and because the industry said there was going to be an increase in demand, we moved to point B, which was going to increase the firm's price and quantity supply to production, showing that the firm is making some profits. But because it's very easy to enter into the market if you're a perfectly competitive firm, this spike in demand and this short run profits here it's going to result in more and more and more firms entering the industry. So the long run impact is that our supply is going to increase and we're going to move back to, uh, to where we're level with point A. So we're going to go from B to C. Our prices are going to go down but our quantity is going to continue to increase. So how is this going to impact the firm? Well, the industry once again controls the firm's price and quantity of production. We have a new demand and marginal revenue points. 
And as you can see, we are back at long run equilibrium. This increase in supply is going to now relay the message to the firm that the profits that they were making were very short-lived. So their quantity supplied or production is going to move to the left and we are back to where we started. So we went from A, B, C to A to B and then we're back here at C. So once again, when we take a look at perfect competition, we always start in long run equilibrium. Point A for the industry and point A for the firm represents long run equilibrium. Let's say that in this example, we have a decrease in demand for this particular good or service. Our demand curve is shifting to the left. We're moving from point A to point B. Prices are going down as well as our quantity supplied. So the industry is going to pass this information along to the firm and we create an entirely new demand and marginal revenue line. We find where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. This is going to be our new profit maximizing quantity so we are decreasing our cost of production and I bring this all the way back up to where it touches average total cost and this is showing me in this particular example that the firm is experiencing losses and we label this point B We started off at point A for both the industry and the firm, which represents long-run equilibrium. Because we had a decrease in demand, we shifted the industry's demand curve from point A to B, lowering the price and lowering the quantity supplied, which resulted in the firm lowering their price and lowering their quantity supplied, which resulted in short-run losses. But because it's very easy to not only enter into the market if you're a perfectly competitive firm, it's also very easy to exit the market. And because we have these short run losses, we're going to decrease the industry's supply curve. So more and more firms are going to exit the market. We're going to go from point B to point C. And because we are starting to eliminate the number of firms, the prices are going to go back up, our quantity is going to go down, and the industry is going to relay this information to the firm, which in return is going to raise prices and raise quantity of production back up. So we find our intersection marginal revenue equals marginal cost. We bring this down. We are moving back to long run equilibrium. So we started off at A, went down to B, and then back up to point C.